Her husband William flew to Balmoral, but then the Duchess of Cambridge decided to stay home. A source close to the royal family revealed almost a month later the true reason for Kate's absence at such an important and dramatic moment. October 8th will be the month since the EPTA of Queen Elizabeth II. As the monarchy's health deteriorated, her son Charles and the daughter Princess Anna moved to Balmoral. Harry's grandson had not had time to say goodbye to his grandmother, having left too late. Prince William, who, to the surprise of many, was not accompanied by Kate's wife at this crucial moment. Journalists speculated on why the new Princess of Wales did not appear on her deathbed, with whom she seemed to have a good, warm relationship. In principle, the media immediately wrote that Kate stayed at home with the children, but it is possible to assume that a lot of people had a reasonable question. What? With someone else's children could not be left. Even in the most ordinary families in such dramatic moments find a way to place the children for a while and the royal family, it is likely, will have more resources. The source contacted an informant who explained her absence from the castle. All indications are that mothering took over. She did not want to leave her children, who were very attached to her great-grandmother, intending to personally prepare George and Charlotte for unpleasant information. And especially George. At the age of nine, the boy's life changed. He is now Prince George of Wales, who knows he is nearing becoming king, second in line to the British throne. He's small, but he's smart. George knew that his great-grandmother's departure meant a lot to him. Told a source, the boy knew the queen was about to leave them no one was keeping it from him. That's why it was important for Kate to stay with the kids while William went to Balmoral. She wanted to be the person who would tell her son delicately about what had happened and give him the opportunity to ask questions that inevitably arise for children in such a situation. So it turns out that the original assumptions that Kate didn't go to Scotland for the kids were true. In making this decision, the Cambridges thought of the mental welfare of their children, not about the fact that Kate wasn't even trying to say goodbye to the Queen. Thanks for watching and check out one of our newest videos.